Hello summoners and welcome to another episode of Pro Guides' Best Champions to Main, now on patch 1218. The champs we pick for this series are strong picks with high performance but have low, low ban rates and are unlikely to be nerfed anytime soon. They are reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We also have a series that covers the most broken contested picks in each role, so be sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss out when we post those as well. We'll start things off in the top lane with Olaf. After his midscope update, Olaf was one of the most hotly contested champions in the game. Now, his popularity has fallen off a bit, but he's still a very strong pick. He has a lot of kill threat in lane, and once you get a lead on Olaf, you can usually snowball with it really hard. The number one mistake people make when playing Olaf is trying to use their lead across the map. His one weakness is being kiteable. If you just stick to side laning and forcing opponents to come to you, you help curb that weakness quite a lot. As far as atomization goes, he's pretty flexible. So the build we have here is the generic go-to one, but you can flex to options like Black Cleaver and Blade of the Ruined King for smashing tanks in the side lane. Before we go any further, I just want to give a huge shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Those guys are putting in work. Our meta videos and guides like this are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24 seven, just waiting to share everything they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone and head on over to ProGuides.com for some professional help now. The second top laner we have is Shen. Seasons come and go, but he remains one of the most reliable top lane champions you can main to climb in rank. His kit doesn't have a ton of crazy 1v9 potential, so you're not gonna carry the games where your entire team is inting. But outside of those fringe cases, he can consistently have a massive impact leading to easy climbing over time. And that's what we're looking for. The last top laner we have for today is Poppy. Like Shen, she's another tank that pretty much is always at least decent for climbing. The main reason for that is that she's super scrappy. Despite being classified as a tank, she's really a lot more like a super beefy bruiser. She can force trades hard, and in teamfights, she's a serious threat to backliners she gets on top of. For her items, you can go with the Divine Sunderer Black Cleaver combo as your core if you really need it for 1v1ing tanks or juggernauts in a side lane, but do note that that build also really hurts your ability to 5v5 since you'll melt in teamfights, so only do it when splitting is your only option. Taking a look now at the jungle, the first pick we have is Shivana. For some reason or another, she has a pretty low play rate despite being in our OP tier. I guess people would rather try to force wins on flashier bat champions like Lee Sin, but that's good news for people that value winning over looking cool, because she's pretty much entirely uncontested. Our second jungler is Evelyn. She's been pretty spotty the past few months, but lately she's been doing a lot better. She's a champion that has a really high mastery curve, so if you get good at understanding how she works, you can definitely perform better than the stat websites show. The number one rule when playing any assassin is to play assuming you're going to snowball. If you don't, then what's the point of playing an assassin anyways? That's why we have Magi's in our recommended build. If you think you're not gonna pop off and maintain stacks, then you probably aren't going to do well enough to carry anyways. The final jungler for today is Zac. Early on, Zac is a bit of a slow starter. His rank 1 E range doesn't really give a ton of gank opportunities, so just focus on scaling up a bit. Gank where you can, but make your main goal safely clearing the jungle. As you get more points in it, his ganks get deadlier and deadlier with the maxed out skill giving you the ability to constantly gank anywhere and everywhere since you can fly in from any angle. Now for the mid lane, the first champion we have is Pantheon. Out of every champion in this video, Pantheon is by far the most criminally underplayed. He's absolutely broken as a mid laner, but gets played less than like 20 other champions. He auto wins lane, has super good skirmishing and roaming, and out of lane can consistently one-shot carries that get in range of your W. There's absolutely no reason to not be abusing this guy right now. Our next mid laner is pretty much the polar opposite of the last one. Malzahar is a pick for the more mellow players that just want to neutralize the lane and farm it out to carry later on. Like some other picks, you aren't picking Malzahar to 1v9. Instead, you're here to just get consistent results with his safe laning and very reliable pick potential in the mid to late game thanks to his ult. Our last mid laner for today is Zyra. Yeah, that's right. We often push Zyra as a support, but she's also more than capable as a mid lane mage. She's just as lane dominant mid as she is bot with good pushing power, hard hitting poke, and deadly all in potential if she lands her full combo. 
You'll have Perma Prya to help your jungler, and you scale even harder than Zyra support since you have a solo laner's income and experience. Off-meta picks like this can feel like a life hack when it comes to climbing the ladder. You take a champion that's already strong and then throw in the fact that most people won't really know how to play against it and you end up cheesing your way to victory over and over. Which brings us to today's question of the day. What are some of the strongest sleeper picks you know of? Let us know your answers down in the comments below, but I totally understand if you don't want to share them and you want to keep the LP for yourself. Jumping back into the video and moving things down to the bottom lane, the first pick we have is Tristana. She's good at all stages of the game, so you don't have to worry about making a choice between strong laning and falling off later on. In the early game, her all-in power is pretty high with the potential to go for kills the second you hit level 2, and post 6, it's just downright ridiculous. Her ultimate and a fully stacked grenade can almost 100-0 squishy targets, so as long as your support is halfway competent, and I know that can be rare, but if he is, you should easily be able to start snowballing at this point. The second pick we have is Ziggs. He's for the more chill player, that just wants to avoid fighting 2v2s altogether by neutralizing the lane with his wave clear. Shove the lane, poke the enemy under turret, and chip away at the tower. Out of lane, it's pretty much the same story. You don't really look for all-ins as Ziggs, you just constantly poke, nuke towers when you get to hit them, and slowly win the War of Attrition. The final bot lane carry we have is another mage in Karthus. Like Ziggs, Karthus is a really solid lane neutralizer, but when it comes to carrying games, you'll play entirely differently. Instead of sitting back and poking, your goal in pretty much every fight is literally to die and do as much damage as possible in his passive, Personally, this solves the biggest problem with bot lane carries for me. You don't need a support to peel for you and play around you in fights when your only goal is to run in and die anyways. Next up for our supports, the first pick is Zillion. Generally speaking, supports are the picks that dictate how bot lane goes. AD carries may be the carries in fights, but early on supports tend to do more damage and have most of the playmaking capabilities. But when you pick Zillion, you are purposefully giving up the ability to win lanes to play for scaling. It's not like he has absolutely no presence early game like a Yumi, he can at least set up ganks. But other than that, just play it slow and wait it out. It may suck to basically be guaranteed to lose 2v2, but once you make it to mid game, trust me when I say it is worth it. His ability to enable allies in teamfights is absolutely unmatched. The second support for today is Bard. Bard is truly a champion that is only limited by the player's creativity. You can play offensively or defensively in lane, set up otherwise impossible jungle ganks with his portal and ultimate, and he has some of the best roaming abilities in the game. There are also tons of different ways to build him. We have the generic go-to, but you can run electrocute and build mandate for more damage, which is especially good for a roam heavy playstyle, or go with guardian for a more supportive style. Finishing off our list, we've got Nami. She is the absolute best pick if you want an enchanter that can actually bully lane. The only other option that does about as good as Nami in lane is Karma, but Karma is so, so bad right now. She can definitely win the 2v2 bot, but she falls off super hard and really fast too, having basically no use as a support once laning phase is over. Despite being a mermaid, she actually gets outscaled by picks like Janna or Sona, but she's definitely still pretty good in 5v5s. Her ultimate can be hard to land on faraway targets, but it works great for disrupting incoming divers. Plus, the huge boost to movement speed it gives to allies works like a budget Sivir ultimate. And that is it for our top 3 champions to main on 1218. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our meta guides and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know some OP sleeper picks down in the comments section below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our discord in the description box below where you can discuss league further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video but until then, Good luck on the rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.